it's Caroline. I want to take you through a quick stretching video that you can do anywhere. So stand up nice and tall and just start taking your arms back in like a backstroke kind of motion. I find that when I've been working on the computer for a long period of time, it's so helpful to get up and do a quick little burst of stretching. And that's why I created the sequence that you're doing with me today. So if one arm at a time is a little too simple, try two. So you'll go back. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. And this is helpful, especially if you've been hunched over a keyboard or an iPhone, <laughs> to bring things back into motion and to rebalance your posture, get all the shoulder crunchies out, just make you feel a little more alive and awake. Good, so let's do a few more going backwards. And let's try reversing the motion so you'll go forward. And you can tell my shoulders are pretty tight. Lots of typing, <laughs> lots of iPhoning. So I try to make sure that I do this at least once a day to give myself a quick movement break, to give me some energy, and uh, lift my spirits a little bit. Good, so let's do one more forward. And then you're just going to reach the arms over your head, grab hold of one wrist, lift up nice and tall, and then tilt over to the side. So you wanna think of extending through the top arm. Good, you should feel a nice stretch all the way down to the side of your body. Let's lift back up to center, switch hands and go to the other side. So lift up and tilt. And that should feel really nice all the way down through your side. Good, let's do it once more to both sides. So grab hold of one wrist, reach up and tilt over to the side. Stretch, good. Breathing, and come back up to center, switch sides. So reach up, lift up, and tilt over. I am a little teapot kind of stretch. Good, take it back to center, and then unclasp the arms. Bring it down to a W, and then reach up. Good, and you're just gonna do a few of these. So W down, reach up. You wanna avoid sticking the belly out, so try to keep the belly in. Good, and breathe, so down and up. This stretch definitely helps counterbalance the tight chest that comes from typing a lot. Good, let's do a few more. And reach, and two, nice, and reach. Last one, down and reach. From here, you're going to use your office chair, or you can even use your desk just to help you stabilize. Take one foot back behind you. You're just going to press the heel down to the floor, pull the tummy up, and get a nice stretch for the back calf. The calves tend to get really tight if we're sitting a lot, and just in daily life in general, and tight calves can cause a lot of problems for us. So taking time to stretch them is really helpful. Keep pressing through that back heel, and then a slight variation on this stretch, you're just gonna bend the back knee. And you should feel a little more stretch through the Achilles. Good. Keep breathing, that's helpful. Nice, and we'll switch to the other side. So step the feet together, and then step the other leg back behind you, pull up through the tummy, and then just press the heel down into the floor. Good, and you should feel this in the calves a lot. A lot of my clients who have foot problems like plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis really benefit from just simple calf stretching. So taking the time to do this video should help with any foot pain. Good, variation on this stretch, let's bend the back knee just slightly. Oop, yep, feel that. Good, and this should feel good if you're breathing. Nice job, step the feet together. Next stretch is for the hip flexor. So this time, step one foot back behind you, tilt the pelvis forward, the heel of the back leg is off the floor. Drop the knee down towards the ground. And then what I find is helpful is taking the hands on the front knee and then pushing against the front knee, and I'll show this from the side. So from here, you're just gonna round the spine in, and you should feel more of a release through the hip flexor. So if that feels good to you, try that variation of a slight rounding action of the lower back. Same arm as leg behind you, lift over your head, and then you're gonna tilt to the side. Boop, and falling over is totally acceptable. <laughs> I find it's also really helpful to squeeze the back butt cheek. Good, and breathe. Nice, this should feel really good if you've been sitting a lot. 
To balance that out, let's stand up, take the same leg in your back hand, pull up through the tummy, and then just stretch the quads. So it's helpful to bend the standing leg a bit, and if you do need to hold on to a chair, a desk, that can help you balance. But you just should feel this in the quad, and that should feel really nice. Good, keep breathing, standing up nice and tall. And switch. So we'll switch to the other side. Opposite foot goes back, tilt the pelvis forward, and drop the knee towards the floor. So again, if you find it's helpful to put the hands on the front knee and round the spine slightly to get more of a stretch to the hip flexor, try that out, see if it works for you. And if you liked the option where you reach your arm up and tilt to the side, try that now. I find it's really easy to get stressed and overwhelmed when we're working a lot. And simply getting up from the desk and taking a few minutes to stretch can do a world of good for your mental state, not to mention your body. So just taking a few minutes to do the stretching video will work wonders for you mentally and physically as well. Good, from here, straighten the leg, stand up and let's do that quad stretch. So grab hold of the back foot, pull up through the tummy, shoulders out of the ears, and let's give the, the quad a nice stretch. Good. Using the breathing to calm you down, to de-stress, and to give the muscles you're stretching a little bit of oxygen. Nice, relax from here. So we're using the chair to give your hamstrings a bit of love. So you're just gonna take one leg up on the chair, hands at your hips are on the chair for support, keep that front knee slightly bent, and tilt the hips, taking it over. And I find it's nice to look past the toe, or excuse me, the foot on the chair, and you should feel a nice, simple stretch to the backs of your legs, the hamstrings. And those tend to get really tight when we sit often as well. So give yourself some love. This stretching series is also really good if you're traveling and you've been sitting on a plane for hours. It's so important to give your body a little bit of stretching if you've been on a road trip or on a flight for, for a while. Good, let's come back to center. Take the leg down and switch sides. The other leg goes up on your chair. Keep the front knee slightly bent, pull up through the tummy, tilt at the hips and take it over. If you don't have a chair with you, you can also do this exercise simply on the floor. Yeah, or you can use a hotel bed. It's a little bit higher um, if you have more flexible hamstrings. Good, so let's take a deep breath together. Inhale, exhale. Nice job. Good, come back into center. And from here, let the top leg come back down. You can use the back side of the chair or your bed for this next stretch. So one foot's going to go on the opposite leg, figure four, and you'll grab hold of the chair, sit the hips down and back, and flex this top foot. And you should feel a nice stretch in your glutes here. If you're not comfortable doing it standing, you can also do the stretch seated, okay? So if your legs are really fatigued and you want to do the seated, or if you don't want to stand up and tick off your boss, you can just do it while you're in your office desk, and that's very helpful. Good, take one more deep breath, and let it out, and we'll switch sides. So I'm gonna show this one standing again. So one foot on the opposite knee, flex that top leg, and then sit the hips down, and again, you should feel this in the glutes and the hips. And if you've been doing some of my other YouTube videos, you probably need the stretch right now. <laughs> so it's a good balance to all of the workouts that we do on my channel. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Nice job. Come back up to center and shake it out. So from here, if you can, sit on your chair and you're just going to cross one foot over the other kind of like a lady <laughs> sit up nice and tall and take the opposite arm up towards the sky twist from the torso down the top leg and then look over your shoulder so this feels really nice in the back the lower back especially in the shoulders good 
Sit up nice and tall. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. And let's switch sides. So you're going to cross the other leg over like a lady. <laughs> Opposite arm reaches up towards the sky. Twist from the tummy. Take it down and look over that back shoulder. This you can also do when you're in the plane. <laughs> it's a little bit more cramped, but it will bring some energy and some mobility back to your body. So inhale deeply in, exhale out. Come back to center and uncross the legs. From here, you're just gonna take the legs wide and this one's a little interesting. So hands on the insides of your thighs and you're just gonna fold forward and push your thighs out slightly. Now, if you have some sort of, a lot of flexibility, this one might not feel that intense for you. Um, if you don't stretch that often, you could feel this quite a bit. So you can drop the head if you like that and breathe. Inhale and exhale. and come back up slowly. We'll do one more forward fold, but this time with the legs together, and this feels really nice in the lower back. So showing it from the side, you're just gonna take the hands underneath your legs, round the spine forward, and kind of give yourself a big hug. So your head's dropped here, and you're just gonna breathe. Inhale, and exhale, and last time, inhale, and exhale. Slowly come all the way up to seated. And that's all I have for you as far as chair and office stretches. Leave me a comment below if you try them out and let me know how they go. For more health and happiness tips, check me out online at carolinejordanfitness.com. Bye.